Hey, so a while back I did a video that showed you how you can add an audio track to an existing video file and save it without needing to re-encode it. Now this is what I used before, so it's A-V-I-D-E-M-U-X and I have a video here with an audio track there and um, basically I'm going to combine the two and save it just like before. Um, so we'll just call this one for example. But if I play the, uh, the track back, this is the original audio and I can switch audio tracks to the track I've just added, which is the music file. But the audio tracks are labelled one and two. Would be nice if one was labelled music and one was labelled game audio or whatever. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use a tool called MKV Tool Nix. You can get it from this address here and you can download it here from Foss Hub. I'm using the portable 64-bit version and uh, I've expanded it and you need to open this GUI XE here and so all, I, all you do is drag this the video that now has the two audio tracks I'm going to drag that into MKV Tool Nix I can see these two audio tracks so I click on this one I know that the, <coughs> excuse me, I know the AAC is the game audio so I'll call it game audio and I know that this MP3 I've just added is the music so now I'm going to start multiplexing that's going to create a new MKV file just call it one with a one in brackets and now if I open that file up if I go to audio tracks I can now go to music and that's it the only sort of disadvantage or if you see it as a disadvantage is, is you have to save the file out as MKV but as long as you're playing that back in a device that supports that it's not a problem and that's it really if this tip was useful to you please give me a thumbs up or if you'd like to write a comment or subscribe please do that thanks for watching